The next type of extension we want to demonstrate for you are extensions that integrate WAVE with the system communication systems. In this case, we'll show you with everyone's favorite microblogging service, Twitter. So at this point, you're probably wondering how to install these extensions. So let me open a WAVE. And you probably won't be surprised to hear that extensions can live inside a WAVE. Here's there a bunch of puzzle pieces showing some of the things we're using today. All I have to do if I want to use one of these extensions is it, sorry, <laughs> click the Install button. And you can see over here, there's a new drop-down menu. And I have the option to create a new TWAVE. My WAVE, of course. TWAVE, of course, is a wave of tweets. You can describe as a developer how your extensions hook into WAVE. It could be a keyboard shortcut, a button on the toolbar. It could be something like the new TWAVE button. There'll be a confirmation page that tells the users how you're going to interact. We haven't quite implemented that yet. All right, so I'll sign into Twitter. <laughs> and you can see tweets from all the famous people I follow. And down here at the bottom, Lars. It's important you can see that each of these avatars, they're not necessarily WAVE users. Through our APIs, you can be a proxy for contacts on a different system. So I have Lance Armstrong, Ryan Seacrest, lots of different people. If I go down here and I look for Lars's tweet, I can respond to it. He says, the demo's going pretty well. And I'll say, it ain't over yet. <laughs> And now I've logged into Twiffany at Twitter over here. And if I refresh the page, you'll see that the extension took Stephanie's wave reply and tweeted it. Now, Tweety also lets you search over the public timeline of Twitter, for example, for a phrase like Google Wave. So I'm going to start a new Twave. You're going to search for Google Wave now? I'm going to do it. How brave is that? <laughs> I'm not afraid. So I'll try again. I'm going to log in. And then I'm going to type Google Wave. So we did this yesterday, and there were only two tweets. One of them was a woman interviewing at a company called Wave. So she said, I should Google Wave before my interview. So now let's sign in, see what happens. <laughs> do, do. A lot more than two. Oh. <laughs> and we can go down to the bottom and see tweets still coming in. Oh my god, you guys, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that was an example of an integration yes. between Wave and another communication system. You guys are programmers like us. You probably deal with filing bugs. I want to show you an integration between Wave and the issue tracker, the bugs database, over on code.google.com. But this could be any issue tracker, Bugzilla, GitHost, whichever is your favorite. So I'll just conjure up a canned message here. And I'll tell you a little bit about how we do bugs on my team. So a programmer has built some code. They've sent it for code review. They also send a demo to the PMs and UI people and Jens and I. And then we sit in a room and we test it. And you can't read the text here, but there's a bunch of bullet points with observations we made. We, of course, edited this collaboratively. Some of them are bugs. Some of them are observations for discussion later. Some of them are notes for the UI designers. And of course, we should now go and file bugs. Um, but instead of doing that manually, we wrote an extension that lets me just select a bullet point, click this button here, and now a robot enters the fray called buggy, takes that text, and files it as a bug for me. Thank you. Hey, Lars. Why don't you add me? Yes, excellent. And I'll add stuff to the wave. The, bug, the, uh, the, the, sorry, the robot also grabs a little summary from issue tracker and puts it right inside the wave. There is a link there to the bug, well, Stephanie, which Stephanie will now click so that you can see the bug sitting over an issue tracker. All right, so I'm going to open dun. this bug, number 11. I'm going and while she does that, I'll bigger. file a bunch more. You can see how easy it is. I just triple click here. There is another one. And I'll file that bug, too. OK, and so now we might send this way, we might share this wave with our bug triage team. I'll just do that myself. All I have to do is change the assignee here. I'll give this to Stephanie. I'll take this myself. And then this one goes to Lars. Oh, I'm sorry, was that Greg? Like this. And now 
you'll see Stephanie will refresh the bug and you'll see the robot change the assignee over in the issue tracker. It's on the left-hand panel where it says yes. owner. And also, most issue trackers or bug databases let you debate bugs endlessly, if I recall, inside the database, which is normally not the strength of the database, but it is the strength of Wave. And so instead of debating them over on issue tracker, you can debate the bug from inside Wave. I'll just use the inline reply tool here, and I'll say, that is so not my fault, exclamation mark. And like I'll that. refresh. You can see the update there. Okay. 